My name is Pat Hamilton, and this is Hamilton Handmade. Hey guys, as you could tell, I'm not in my typical shop today. I am actually on site at my mama's house. My mom cooks for me and my wife every Friday. We come into town, and so I thought that it was about time for me to repay the favor. Now for years, my mom has had a microwave on the countertop, just like any typical home, but she's been looking to try to save some of that space. Microwaves over the stove have been around for a long time, but fairly recently, within the last five to 10 years or so, we have started to see low profile, slim microwaves. Lowe's had a sale on these slim microwaves and my mom scored one. So today, I'm gonna show you how to install one of these bad boys right in your kitchen. Now there are a couple of things you wanna do before you get started. The very first thing is to go ahead and protect your appliances and your countertop that you already have within the kitchen. So we have placed a quilt on top of my mom's glass stove. We've went ahead and covered that to make sure that if we drop any tools, any bolts, anything like that, we don't scratch or damage the top. The second thing you wanna do is to mark off your center line. Before this video started, I went ahead and marked off a center line right here. And then the next thing right after that is to find your stud placement within the wall. That's gonna be very important because these microwaves are fairly heavy. Now in my mom's kitchen, the studs fall a little bit awkward. I have one stud running about here and then one stud running here. Not a big deal, we'll be able to work with it, but we are gonna have to use some drywall anchors to make up for where those studs are not. Whirlpool has actually made it extremely simple for us, and they've included this template that's built into the bracket for the microwave. So we'll use this template to make all of the holes that we need within our cabinet right up here. In order to use this template, we will have to bend out these tabs right here. We're gonna mark off these two holes on top of this, which is where part of that microwave will bolt into the cabinet. And we're also going to mark out this large hole right here. Now that hole is actually where our power will come in up to a plug-in right in top of the cabinet. Start out by placing the flat end of your template up against the wall with the instructions facing down. Make sure that the triangle cutout lines up with your center wall mark. Go ahead and trace out the holes on the tabs for the mounting bolts and trace out the hole for the power cable. Using a one and a half inch spade or Forstner bit, drill out the hole for the power cable. Then, using a quarter inch bit, drill out the holes for your mounting bolts. Take the bracket back out and fold down the tabs used for marking. Push the bracket up against the wall and line up the triangle cutout to your center line. Now you want to determine which holes match closest to your studs. Mark off these holes, and then mark off the hole symmetrical to each stud. This is where you will place your drywall anchors. Drill out the holes for your drywall anchors using a 5 8 inch bit. Go ahead and feed through the drywall anchors into your bracket. Make sure that the point of your toggle bolt is pointed away from the bolt head. This way the toggle bolt opens up and locks into place. Now push your toggle bolts into your pre-drilled holes. While screwing these in, I like to use an adjustable wrench to pull the bolt away from the wall. This pulls the toggle bolt into the other side of the drywall and keeps your bolt from spinning freely. Once the toggle bolts feel good and tight, drive your lag bolts into your studs. It's time for the fun to begin. You're definitely gonna need a second set of hands for this because this beast is mighty heavy. So the easiest way to proceed from here is to get a friend to help you lift the microwave on something a little bit taller. That way we can go ahead and feed this cord through 
without trying to hold up the weight of the microwave and push it through a small hole in the top of this cabinet as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this cord through. Now this is the point where you will definitely need a friend to help. So on the back of this bracket, there are two hooks. There are slots on the back of the microwave that will hook into those hooks. So we're gonna pick up this microwave, tilt it down, lock it in those hooks, and then push it back up. Once we have it in that up position, then we'll be able to drop in two bolts from the top. We already have our bolts sitting here waiting for us and then we'll just be able to screw that directly into the microwave. And there it is, there was nothing to that. Easy day of work, and now my mom has a clear countertop free of a microwave. I love the way that this looks. It's real nice, sleek, and smooth, and I think it's gonna be just perfect for what she's using it for. I'd love to hear what you thought of this project down below in the comments. Be sure to share this with your friends, like the video, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss another Hamilton Handmade project. My name is Pat Hamilton, and this was Hamilton Handmade.